Well, here we go, Nathan. Season three, episode two. It's been a are bit of a break. This, like, correctly, or are we just going right into it? No whelp. Oh, no. I we, I guess sorry, we should have whelped. So uh you can I mean <laughs> Well, here we are, YouTube. Great, great way to start that. Let me say this again. Nathan, here we are. <laughs> the boys, season three, episode two. The name of this episode is The Only Man in the Sky. So mm. I wonder if that's like a reference to Homelander who flies, maybe, or I don't know. Mm. Well, okay. Last episode, there was definitely a very strong hint that, uh, well, no hint, like literally, uh, Butcher got some V. Yes, he did. Yeah, and that and that was something that I assumed would happen at some point. So Butcher's got to use that V because it's yeah. it's a plot line that's very it's set up to be done because it's like it's a temporary v he's not a a soup forever he's just right. for the time being so that seems like okay well i'm yeah. looking forward to this i i really love the first episode i love the show in general this is a great yeah. show i love the characters i love the like the superhero element uh i love, I love butcher is the best character ever he's so good he's just so every time he talks it's funny oh yeah carl uh, urban uh, he was born to yeah. play that role yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, some actors luck out in general. They get to be actors, but some luck out and they get to find that role that just suits the way they are, the way they look, the way they speak, the persona. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. I can't believe it's the same guy that was in Lord of the Rings. Uh, what was oh, yeah. in that one? Or or Scotty from the newer. Uh, he did great as Scotty, the engineer oh, yeah. in the Star Trek films. Yeah. Not Scotty. Okay. Sorry. Wrong. Doctor. Oh, that's yeah. right. You're right. It wasn't Scott. So Scotty was, of course, Simon Pegg, who's also in the boys. Yeah. Simon the Star Trek, the Star Trek nerds are like, ah, run, yeah. no, but you're there. Yeah. And I love Star Trek. You're, I, of course, that's right. You play Bones. That's right. And that's the perfect kind of canker. He he definitely loves that kind of cankerous type Can part uh, character. Yeah. Did I say it right? No. Can no. No. Cantankerous. Cantankerous, Cantankerous means you've got a lot of sores in your mouth. They, well, Cantankerous he's that too. Maybe that's why he speaks that way because he's got a lot of sores. <laughs> All right, here we go. Without further ado, there you go. This Thursday on VTV, television for women. I guess I'm just searching for a more purposeful life, Mr. Adana. The Church of the Collective can offer you so much more. Before your career, before everything. Oh, it's like a, yeah. It's enough. I'm afraid that you have become a toxic personality, Deep. Not without my dolphin. Brought to you by Lane Already Frozen Dinners by Vaught. Tonight, join me for my annual birthday spectacular. Oh, here we there go. Is. Here we go. <gasps> Don't do it. Not yet. You have to stop. Please. Oh, break her. no. This is boy. So break her off. Is he dreaming right now? Okay, well, I do. Does this boy have an accent? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was I was gonna say it, we're not gonna see him use it just yet. It, it's got to be a bit of a buildup, right? Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Question is, does he get addicted to it when he takes it? Hello, hello. Yeah. A bit early, isn't it? I said I could call you after eight and say till three. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. This boy had an accent in the dream. I think you should watch it. It kind of helps me when I. Yeah, look, I told you, I'll watch it later. Ooh. Are you mad at me? What was that about? Why did he snap? Well, the kid's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just was like, hey, did you watch the video? <laughs> oh, you watch it later? Well, I think Butcher's got a lot on his mind right now. That's the whole point. Like he's having the dreams so. about the about the V, he's got to take care of Homelander, he's got this kissy. Mm. Did you see my craft? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it looks great. You're great. You're an artist. Yeah, you're the next Leonardo da Vinci. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> I like that. I like those kind of openings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> I can't believe she's still sticking around. It's weird. Uh, it's my birthday, silly. Is it time for another handy, or what's going on here? Okay, just blink if you want to wish me a happy birthday. You see? She deserves this, though. She deserves yeah. it. Oh, yeah. She's a full vegetable now. Or she's pretending. We don't see her come back at all. She doesn't have the V in her anymore, right? <laughs> oh, wow. No, 
this is humiliating. That song was gross when I was 18. Then don't sing it. I, I don't want to make waves. Make waves. But so that ends up killing him. Now, You're a real uh, contender on American Hero. Keep it up. We could be teammates. Oh, wow. I hope so, sir. Of course, it doesn't hurt that the show's judge used to get cum drunk on your chorizo picante. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I am just so excited about what's coming. Uh oh, partner. Duh. That's not a good sign when they use music like that. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be excited anytime Homelander's Go excited. Ahead, yeah. I got this for you. You and your dad can build it together. <laughs> Five hundred and twenty three pieces of family fun. <laughs> okay, one. You don't just pop up here. You call first. <laughs> he he didn't die like no hero. Of the kids. I'll wager he went out on his knees begging like a right cunt. What the f... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <brother. laughs> Sounds like you got everything covered. This ain't just anyone. It's Soldier Boy. Fuck off with that shit. <laughs> It's funny when they swear and stuff, like the kid's not in the same shot, like they're not in the same room, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they just, You're mm -hmm. doing a bang up job with that, Mike. I might have one thing. Oh. What does he have? Do we know this? I'm not sure what the dossier is on or who. A lot of stuff on Soldier Boy. No, hang on. Pause for a sec. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Do we know this about Soldier Boy? And maybe remind me again who Soldier Boy is. Uh, I know it's been a while. So well, you've watched? Oh, Soldier Boy. Oh, okay. I just googled the actor. I've heard about the actor joining. I won't spoil anything. It's a new character. Okay. We haven't seen. We haven't seen Soldier Boy on screen yet. So okay, he exists in the universe. He has a history in the yeah. universe, which we're seeing now. But, uh, well, it's not really a spoiler that you were going to see the actor. One of the actors from Supernatural TV series is playing, is playing Soldier Boy. Okay. Yeah. And is this the first where he, because maybe it is the first I we're hearing. I think so. I think. Because he seems, that's, that's important to him to get back or get vengeance on him or, I don't know. I think that's, we're about to get that information. I just, I just thought. Just in case I've missed something from before. No, I, I was the same way. It's like, I don't recognize the name. Uh, but yeah, so he it says right here uh, in the television show, Soldier Boy is introduced in the 2022 third season. There you go. Portrayed <laughs> by Jensen Ackles, who uh, was in that Supernatural TV show, which is a show okay. I still want to watch. It has like 50, seasons, but I don't know. I love that kind of stuff. I still haven't seen it. My show. kids watch that show um, and they know the, they know it inside and out. And I've, I've got like, snippets i would like I, I know i'd enjoy it i think i would enjoy it because i like these shows like x files mm -hmm. and any kind of mm -hmm. like supernatural type well supernatural <laughs> those type of mm -hmm. shows i enjoy and it's just a show i just never i think life just got busy and once you go to mm -hmm. show once it's in the fifth sixth seventh season you're just like ah, i'm too far behind and but i think it's yeah. available on netflix or somewhere now anyways yeah okay but i'm looking forward to seeing this portrayal i think soldier boy if i was a guess he's going to give homelander a run for his money of some sort i bet you he's going to be a, a kind of guy that can doesn't get intimidated. I, I don't know anything about him, but I got a feeling he's going to, mm. him and Hol Holmland are going to butt heads or something. If he gets yeah. introduced. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably going to see him here soon. <laughs> inclusive Kingdom. <laughs> the Inclusive Kingdom. Oh, I love it. <laughs> You're the real hero. LGB Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see a hamburger with a donut for a bun. <laughs> Surely there is no God here. <laughs> Here's Soldier Boy. Here's the journey. Yeah, we're getting more about Soldier Boy here. Is he a retired and old hero then? I don't know. I don't want to Google anything. If anyone knows yeah. in our chat that it's not a spoiler. In fact, if. If you're in our chat right now, we got a few people I think have watched the show in our chat. If you, without a spoiler, is Soldier Boy like is he retired? Because the actor is not that old; like he's about the same age as Homelander. So 
um, mm. yeah, let us know why he hasn't been around. That doesn't really spoil it, so just so we can kind of track what's going on here. Soldier boy grew up in the birthplace oh, of we're, we're gonna find out here, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And along the way, he found the love of a good woman, which made his sacrifice oh, is that... all the more noble. Oh, Bob? when he gave his life, saving maybe? us from a oh. nuclear holocaust. Please join us in saluting. Oh, he's dead. Soldier boy. Yeah. So we got our backstory, Nathan. We should just watch the show. Don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bop our heads throughout the show. Cause he... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who was that? Who was standing there? Just some random person. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> we got to go. Come on. What? Oh, it's like somebody dressed up as one of the... Oh, oh it was a person... Like a That's mascot. why I thought it looked weird. It was a person in a mascot outfit or whatever. That's funny. <laughs> That's a bad day at work. For the record. Mm-hmm. I know you don't care whether I sing or not. This is a juvenile attempt to get me to look like a sex doll instead of a co-captain. If Starlight doesn't want to sing, she doesn't sing. Uh. So how about I just walk, Stan? How would that rape? After the PR hole you dug for yourself this past year, I'd say you're lucky we're putting on this farce at all. More pressure on him does not equal good things. I got a theory. So obviously Homelander is going to kill this guy. This guy here? Yeah, he's going to do some sort of white knight, swoop in, help out. Mm, and he was trying. Yeah, he'll stand up to Homelander or something, and Homelander will be like, oh, you bug, and just yeah. squish him. Yeah. 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 So I'm listening to our chat. I said, I'm impressed you guys have avoided spoilers, especially on the internet. Uh, mm. it, well, yes and no. The funny thing about spoilers and... Thank you for saying you're impressed, Mosa. We'll take every compliment. Uh, it's just, <laughs> I find like if you just don't Google things, it's pretty easy. Like, it, their spoilers are pretty good not to, like, yeah. Like, you have to almost Google things. I found if you want to get mm -hmm. spoiled, it's it's kind of hard to be spoiled nowadays. Um, I think personally, unless you really are like, that's why I don't want to get too much into the character. I just wanted the first part of his Wikipedia page that you know. Um, yeah. But I suspect. Anyway, so yeah, thank you. Uh, but I don't, yeah, we don't know anything that's going to happen this season. So we're definitely going to speculate. Of course, as we do speculate, if you're commenting on our video on YouTube, for example, don't answer the questions. <laughs> 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 like when we say, oh, yeah, you guys, you guys guessed it right. <laughs> like we haven't, <laughs> I know we should say that, but you never know. Somebody might, and by now it's too late because we've already asked, but for now on, don't, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Back in touch with my roots. Like in roots. Oh, geez. <laughs> and for the Gen Zs, a state of the art interactive <laughs> learning experience. Is that a video game about the slave trade? Yeah. <laughs> Powerful stuff. Okay. okay. Wow. Thank you so much for that pitch. That was so well told. Mm -hmm. So well told. I want her job to repeat everything my boss says. Mm -hmm. with the Look, man. Where's he from? He looks familiar too, this guy. You couldn't mm -hmm. care less about your African roots. You know it, and she knows it, and frankly, Africa knows it. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> this is fantastic. With the superhuman mother, there is far less chance of parental fatality. Oh, yeah. That's great. <laughs> That's great news. Is there anything in particular? So, what is he looking for? for? Samir is South Asian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very. Well, the guy at the beginning of the episode, Nathan, I thought I thought that's who it was, but he just looks a bit older, maybe a little bit more weight on him. But that was Billy Zane, the the actor from Titanic, the bad boyfriend from Titanic. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Th that's where I had seen him. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was him too, but it's you know it's been a spell. I haven't really mm. don't follow his career very much, so yeah. Not right now. <laughs> no, that sounds great. With uh, Samir right here. Okay, South Asian. Adopting me. Yay. I can't adopt you, Sport. Oh. Technically. Oh. But you are a very rare and exceptional girl, and you're coming with me. I'm going to take care of you now. Anything in the news? Still nothing. Good. So here's a question Do you think he's got superpowers? I just. I think he's got mm. to. Are you, cause, are you considering because why does he have such control over Homelander? Homelander, so he... others, like in order to be in that position of mm. power, you've got to have like pretty strong protections. 
and other than just money and like because that's sort of what he threatened him with in season two if he you know messed around or whatever i was thinking that too that does he he supplies the v right yeah so yeah. Uh, so i think maybe the the power is in the physical one so much as i control your character i control you kill me then you're you will be cut off from everything so to speak your whole celebrity yeah. everything but i was thinking the same thing other than that does he have a secret weapon that we're not aware of maybe mm -hmm. uh the the actress that played the crimson the girl the, the lady at the beginning mm -hmm. uh i thought she looked familiar I was like yeah i hate it when those actors like they look familiar where do i see them from uh mm -hmm. she was in uh did you ever watch the walking dead yep she was in those first seasons of the walking dead oh uh, okay yeah she played um Oh, you would recognize if you saw her. What was her name here? Sorry, folks. Yeah, well, good content. There it is. Oh, uh, she played Andrea Harrison. Andrea, mm -hmm. uh, the first few seasons there, 2010 to 2013. Okay. You'd recognize if you saw her without the makeup and everything. She had blonde hair on the show. I think okay. she played one of the sisters. She played one of the sisters to another adult sister in the show. But anyways, that's yeah. what, that what I knew I recognized it's her. a long from, time since. Yeah, I know. Well, 2010 was... 2010 was 13 years ago if you can believe it yeah so but yeah. she's been a lot of other stuff but that's where it's like i've seen on a tv show mm -hmm. come on sport haven't i always taken care of you no well, she's not gonna pop his head today nope uh -uh. Oh, sorry mate there you go nice piece Welcome. Next. <laughs> Come through. <laughs> oh, the United States. I love it. Oh, <laughs> nice piece. Come on. <laughs> Thanks for showing me your weapon. Come on through. Step one oppress the citizens and confiscate their firearms. <laughs> step two okay. have it all gleefully reported by the so called wait, wait. news media. And step three, <laughs> in classroom around the country, they're going to teach Somebody the kids the fake the news. and the Second <laughs> Amendment. Good for us. The silent majority and the Vought Rifle Association. Okay, I just want to say, this is why I love this show, because the satire is so thick and so well-crafted that if, if you're on either side of these debates, you could get sucked in. Like, you notice that like even the like the lgbtq the rainbow thing like if you're a left winger and you lean left that one's poking fun at you that one's actually like saying a little bit kind of saying this is a little bit crazy that we do this and then this is poking a little bit on the right so i love that this show uses satire and it's it kind of take it has takes no prisoners either way i love it right no let me tell you something. We are armed and we're ready to fight back. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Don't forget, two for one on hollow points on the way out. Use the promo code gunpowder. God bless y'all. I've always said this about guns. Sorry, my last name about guns. Um, hmm. I don't care if you own a gun. Hmm. Like, it, it doesn't bother me. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not for or against. I'm indifferent. Hmm. If, you're, if you're safe with it. Look, you can own a tank. You can own a mm -hmm. rocket launcher, an RPG. You can mm -hmm. own a phaser from Star Trek. I don't care as long as you're safe and don't kill anybody. I'm, if, you know what I mean. I don't care what you own. It's it's uh, that's kind of how I look at it. I just don't like criminal behavior. So that's 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 where I fall down on anything. It's just like you can own whatever you want, and if you're safe and you do what's allowed to be done in a safe environment, knock your socks, have fun, throw grenades. I don't care. Shoot off a shotgun, blow up a tank. I don't care yeah but i just don't want to get shot that's all that's just me i don't want to get shot yeah. i'm not going to wade into this <laughs> no I, well that's fine you don't have to i i think i hate to say that i'm being diplomatic but i think i think that's the that's, i'm a libertarian that's right that's what i am i'm a libertarian i've always been that way i i don't like taking away people's stuff however i don't i don't get anti-gun i'm not going to protest it i'm not pro-gun i'm just like i'm a i'm a don't care gun <laughs> i don't care if you own one they don't they don't excite i'm even in the military they don't excite me when i have to do my weapons training it's my refresher i'm always like i'm always i would say nervous but i don't yeah uh, uh. some guys love it they love it eh? they go, yeah we get to mm. shoot the i'm like uh, I, don't, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just i just do it i don't i yeah, I, yeah. 
when I leave the military, I'll never probably pick up a gun again in my life. Mm -hmm. 14 years old, picked to be Soldier Boy's sidekick. Oh. Mm -hmm. You must have been chuffed, eh? Helping him on his missions, letting him watch you on the bog, stick his finger up your bum a bit, give him a sloppy little dish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a day's work for a young ward, isn't it? Like I've never been sidekick pedal shit a thousand times before. You're right. I'm sorry. That's a filthy, unsubstantiated rumor. Till now, mm. this is a complaint you filed to Vaught, begging to be taken off payback on account of, and I quote, Soldier Boy's habitual abuse. Be a crying shame if a red meat faithful out there found out you were Soldier Boy's underage knob gobbler. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to know is what happened to him. Knob gobbler. And you're going to tell me. Maybe I'll put a bow in your head. He's gonna come get him. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I, yeah. See, this is what I mean. This is a bad use of guns. I don't want to be shot at. <laughs> I forget the guy's name, but the gun guy. That's him shooting at him. Mm -hmm. He's got a rifle. Oh, yeah. See, where is he? He's still in the stupid helmet. Uh oh, come on. Oh, oh, he's that good? Yeah, I guess so. this is like his superpower in a sense. Smart move. What's going on up here? Yeah, you got a jumper? Who is it? It's your lucky day. You're my annual birthday save. Don't come any closer. Life is a precious gift to throw yours away. It'd be a real slap in the Lord's face, don't you think? I'm Jewish. <laughs> All right, well, regardless, <laughs> just step back from the ledge, please. Okay, that's good. Just don't be afraid of the Zoom. You're not Roger Deacon. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. You anyway, she knows something. Futile. Yeah. It's my, it's my birthday. <laughs> it's my he's he's so he's so self-absorbed. Oh yeah, he's, he's so he's, like <laughs> she would commit suicide because it's my birthday. He's like a caricature the first... of of like selfishness. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's the extreme. Well, you know what? To say these types of personalities don't exist is not true. Yeah. <laughs> They yeah. might not have superpowers, but there's people who are so self-absorbed. They would say this. I can't believe mm -hmm. someone did this on my birthday. Do this on my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's going to commit suicide. And he's gonna, not going to stop yeah. it. Or he's going to push her off or something. And they're going to film it. You probably don't know this because, you know, Jew. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus wasn't born on the 25th of December. And guess what? It's not my birthday either. Oh. You know hmm. what he's going to do? He is going to kill her, but I don't think they're going to... I don't know. I, sorry, I, I know we're, this is why we do the show, though. Why we speculate. Mm -hmm. I think he might just, like, blow, like... Or something like that. Or, you know, yeah. he doesn't... He, like, it won't be It'll obvious. Death. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we'll, we'll play it out, of course. But I'm guessing he does kill her, though. This was just chosen for me by a marketing department. Mm. I mean, I can't even... Have a birthday at all? I wasn't born. I was just poured out of a fucking test tube. I know exactly how he must have felt. Jesus. <laughs> you give and you get. What happens? People just tear you down. So the irony of what he's well, doing here is bodies. this actually probably would help. <laughs> this actually would help her with her like depression whatever she's going like this is something for her to focus on here and eventually he, it's not going to work like it, it it might work but i think that they're going to twist that and it's like he is going to inadvertently cause mm. her suicide yeah that's my guess how is it fair that you get saved while a beautiful perfect god gets killed sorry how did she commit suicide though in the bed mm. we saw her cry so we saw that she was but maybe uh yeah did the did Vought do it, or was it? Or, or maybe they're really... 
maybe they're just saying it's a suicide or she i don't know no they would be doing to get them all angry i don't think because she was like the his handler no 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 oh i see but like maybe somebody saw it they're reporting it like it's suicide because how do they know it's suicide video I don't That's know. I don't know. like because she was pretty banged up. Like you could think if she died in that bed, you'd be like, "Oh, she just died of natural co- or well because of the mm-hmm. injury, she's dead." But the mm-hmm. fact they're saying it's suicide, it's odd unless we don't see like we don't see the injury, we don't see how she did it. I, maybe they'll be, uh, yeah, we'll find out later. Maybe okay. Yeah. Is he gonna turn around? She's gone. You know what, Chelsea? Oh, okay. Jump. I think you should jump. Yeah. I don't think I want to. You don't want to? You're right. Yeah, you're sure. right. We'll follow through, Chelsea. Jump. Please. I, I just want to get down. I'm not down. suggesting. See? Yeah. He's, jump. So his talking actually helped her. No, no, no. Oh, so evil. Oh, God. <laughs> the only man in the sky. Ah, and they have some. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I may have signed us up to adopt a child. Huh. <laughs> it's like Soldier Boy, he's like this, this steel sliver inside of my brain after he. I don't know what to do. You should go do what you have to do. Face this shit down. Oh, he's got her blessing, so now he can just do it freely. Yeah. No guilt. Please don't tell Janine about this. Butcher? You was right every day. Things are good. Ryan's good. I should leave it well enough alone before I go and fuck it all up. Is he quitting? Hmm. Newman's a soup. She's the head popper. Oh. Oh. If we're gonna take them down, we have to do whatever it takes. Oh. We have to do it your way. He was about to quit. Yeah. So she bit off her tongue, eh? That's how she killed herself. Hmm. Drowned well, bled out. You just bleed out through your tongue. It's like slitting your wrist. Mm. Ugh. Or drown in her own vomit. She could have drowned in her blood, too, yeah. Uh-oh. You gotta be kidding me. Get your ass off of my car. Oh, jeez. He took the soup stuff. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> he did. He did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> if he can break a gun with his hand. Yeah. Okay. Kill him. What well, killed him? I don't know. He's not dead. Yeah. I don't know. I don't fucking know. That's the others. That's the fucking CIA. CIA. Who was your case officer? Grace. Grace, Grace Mallory. Fuck, I told you everything I know. I know you did. But it don't change what you are. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> I love it. So now I would like to bring out our co captains. So let's give it up for Starlight and the man of the hour himself, Homelander! Happy birthday, Homelander. Thank you. I can see you girded, you disgusting fat fuck. <laughs> Get <off the> fucking <laughs> Sorry, he's just obsessed with like fat shade MMA. Have you noticed that? Like that's oh, yeah. his. Yeah. But he's like he's like literally the same weight. <laughs> oh, I can see your girdle. Oh my gosh. Homelander, your Nazi died. Did he just say his Nazi died? <laughs> hey, uh, 
Alexander. He's just, is he's he gonna, a human. He's just is like she going to just sing happy birthday we anyway? We all make okay, mistakes, yeah. right? I mean, get, come on. No, give it up, give it up. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh-oh. Starlight lied to you just now. She did. I don't make mistakes. I'm not just like the rest of you. I am better. I'm not some <laughs> weak need fucking crybaby that goes around fucking apologizing all the time. Roger, go to fucking commercial. Don't you dare stop rolling, Roger. All my life, people have tried to control me. Powerful people tried to muzzle me, cancel me, because I allowed it to work. And guess what? If they he can likes control it. me, it's then you can bet your ass they can control you. You people should be thanking Christ that I am who and what I am because you need me. You need me to save you. I am the only one who possibly can. Okay, I gotta say this. I know it's about to end, and I know that there's gonna be something that happens here, but you cannot help but see there's lots of comparisons here to reality that's going on. The, this idea that when a politician says, I'm the only one that can do this, I'm the, the only one that can help make things right, it's me, me, you have to use me, everyone else is wrong, I'm the best, you're all, it's only because of what I can do. That's like, direct that's as direct as it gets and i'm not going to spell out the rest of it but the there's certainly some very strong comparisons here i'm the real hero oh there you go is that where it ends yeah that's it wow okay yeah no that's uh whoo this a uh, great episode <laughs> Let me just I'll finish with this. And, uh, and yeah, I think this is one of my favorite shows. It, we we get to see a few shows on this channel, you and I. And um, occasionally uh, shows come along where we're kind of like, it's great. We like, you know, we enjoy it. Maybe it's nostalgic or maybe it's, you know, but this is like such a high level of, um, uh, I keep wanting to say parody. It's not parody, satire. Mm. Um, it's, it's very satirical and satire in the highest order where it's not necessarily, um, intending to be humorous, but the idea that there's humor and like direct parallels to all kinds of things in reality is fascinating. And again, like I say, I know some people are gonna be like, oh, it's all about, you know, they're making fun of right wingers. There's plenty of stuff in there that was making fun of left wingers too. So if you get worked up because you're not, you're worried that your side wasn't represented enough. And I think there's some people, there's enough of that in the world right now where people are just like, it's not fair. I think it is fair. It's fair. It's equally calling out both sides with the poking of the satire. And I think it's, it's well done. Very clever. I love it. I agree. I, I, I'm, I'm the same way. I love the show. And I think what I was saying before about the gun issue, you actually kind of, not to say prove my point, but that's what it proved because I'm not offended either mm -hmm. way. Meaning, when they poke fun of the left way of thinking and and or the right way of thinking, I'm I find myself down the middle. I've always been a libertarian. Mm -hmm. I laugh at both sides. I don't mm -hmm. hold any court with either side. And so for me, I guess it's easier to go through life that way to some degree. But mm -hmm. so when I watch a show like this, I'm not even like. I don't get offended, but you're right. They were totally making fun of the gun nuts. Absolutely. That's what that whole character was about. And the, and the, in the mm -hmm. convention they were at, but they're also, they're also satire, uh, creating satire around, you know, people that are uh, capitalism, um, uh, mm -hmm. hero, mm -hmm. hero worship, literal hero worship, celebrity worship. Uh, mm -hmm. So all those things. And so, yeah, I think it's, I think life is easier if you kind of just try to be a good person and uh, let bygones be got bygones. But anyways, that being said, uh, fun mm -hmm. show, obviously, very well written, very well acted, and uh, Homelander, who is played by Ant Anthony Starr, as his last name is Starr, mm -hmm. actually, uh, he is just killing, like, that. he's killing the character, and I think we don't maybe speak enough to the acting if we've talked about Carl Urban already a lot, and all the actors are doing a great job, but that's the thing, like, no one's dialing it in or phoning it in. Mm -hmm. uh, they're uh, top tier actor, but boy, the, the Anthony playing Homelander, he just, to play this sniveling baby but extremely dangerous and volatile narcissistic it's like the it's hard to do and uh mm -hmm. he's he's killing it and he's i love that ending where he's like you're not i kind of love how he's saying it and uh, 
Uh, side note: the the stepfather to Mother Mil- Mother Milk's daughter. There, I forget his name, mm-hmm. the character's name, but he he enjoyed that speech. So we're starting to see. Is there a sub story now where there's gonna be people that are gonna like you're saying when people? I mean, there was a certain. Look, I'll, I'll say this: there was a presidential candidate who famously said, "If I killed somebody in the streets of New York, people would still vote for me, still love me." That actually mm-hmm. happened in real life. That that was a thing that actually happened, and mm-hmm. he wasn't wrong. And mm-hmm. now we're seeing this Homeland character doing the same kind of thing. He's like, you guys are a bunch of idiots and morons. I'm the real hero. I'm the hero. I'm the one that can save the day. And he saw that guy. He was like, he was excited by that. He was, yeah. that's what yeah. I mean. So I don't know if they're drawing from real life stuff, probably. But we're seeing mm-hmm. how when you have someone with that bravado and that narcissistic bravado saying that through me the world can be saved uh and then you see the public or people in the public going yes yes and then mm-hmm. we saw uh, uh mother's milk's uh ex-wife she walked away so you're starting to mm-hmm. see how yeah I, I love it that's very i thought it was very subtle but we saw him kind of leaning into it he was like oh he's saying this this is exciting this is great mm. he was excited mm-hmm. that homelander was saying that so yeah it's very yeah fascinating writing fascinating uh, social so basically these are social discussions i don't have any answers i'm not smart enough for any answers but uh yeah this is a uh, fun stuff i love it looking forward to episode three mm-hmm. i've probably said this before and i think that it, it's worth saying again um oh shoot <laughs> Well, David will edit that out. Sure. All right. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> thanks for watching us. If you watch this live or on our Patreon after we're live, or if you're watching the edited version on mm-hmm. our YouTube, if you join our Patreon, the unedited full episode without any of the bloop, 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 <laughs> blips and bloops and all the things they have to do to get them on YouTube, uh, mm-hmm. check out our Patreon for the full episodes and other TV shows that we have done. All right. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>